Well, it wasn't just all classes and backgrounds that were dragged into the war. Men from countries throughout the Commonwealth that fought for the cause. 1.5 million women were from India, and by the end of 2014, one in three British soldiers was from the Indian subcontinent. And of those, 20% were Sikhs. And an exhibition to mark their contribution is taking place in London. Ron K. Phillips went to find out more. Rarely seen footage of Sikhs digging trenches on the front line. One in six British soldiers serving during the First World War would have been from India, with Sikhs making up 20% of that number. Yet their contribution has been largely forgotten and their stories untold. This exhibition aims to right that wrong. In the period of the war, about 100,000 Sikh men joined. Um, which is remarkable, really, for a, pop, for a community that was barely 1% of the population. At the beginning of the war, it made up about 20% of the army of India. They were there from the blood-soaked trenches of the Somme to the desert and heat of Africa and the Middle East. Sikhs and Indians had a reputation as fearless soldiers, with thousands making the ultimate sacrifice. One of the single largest loss of life in a battle in France. Uh, a battle called Neuve Chapelle, which was fought um, predominantly by Indian, Indian soldiers uh, against the Ger Germans again very early on. And it's on that, in that village where there is a memorial to 5,000 Indian soldiers who were killed but whose, whose bodies were never recovered. They fought and died alongside their Western comrades in arms, but that is where equality ended. Indians and Sikhs were not allowed to be officers or commissioned into higher ranks. So the story of Hardit Malik, the only Sikh First World War pilot, is remarkable in itself. He was a student um, in 1914 at Oxford and desperately wanted to join his English friends in the Royal Flying Corps, uh, but was not allowed to do so because of the colour bar. Uh, so he actually joined uh, the French Ambulance Corps uh, for a period of time, much to the embarrassment of his tutor, who arranged for an emergency commission. So this is the comb. Every Sikh soldier would have carried a kit bag containing a kunga or comb to look after their traditionally long hair. Just one of the many ways this exhibition explores the diversity which brought communities together a hundred years ago to build links which are still there today. We say we will remember them and um, we should remember everyone who contributed to the war, um, e even the African contribution as well. And, and the Sikhs were a massive part of that and we should remember everyone um, that contributed to the war. Ron K. Phillips reporting there. Well, Nigel Steele from the Imperial War Museum has joined me once again. And Nigel, it's desperately important that we don't forget those sacrifices made by those in the Commonwealth, isn't it? Absolutely. And one of the reasons it's called the Imperial War Museum is that it covers all of the countries of the former British Empire, now the Commonwealth. And it, right from the beginning, it, it was absolutely vital that our story is not just about Britain, it was about all the people of the bigger British family, all the people from across the empire in the different countries, so Australia and New Zealand, as well as the, the smaller nations and other colonies as well. Bring them all in to make sure that their equal effort, equal sacrifices are remembered as well as that alongside.